啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦So this is the helmet we're going to be looking at today. This is an Arai RX7V. Uh, it comes in this nice uh, dust bag. This is actually quite a special helmet. This was raced by Jamie Coward um, in 2019 in multiple races. So it was in the Isle of Man TT, the Southern 100 and the Northwest 200. So the first thing you might notice about this helmet is we've got some scarring here where Jamie actually came off uh, just on the top left hand side. Um, and on the top right as well, um, let's cue some cinematic shots. So now on to the look of the actual helmet. Um, firstly, obviously as this helmet has been raced um, in a few events, um, you can see all the flies, dead flies, plastered all over the, the kind of front of the helmet here. Um, but aside from that, Arai are kind of known for their smooth um, kind of shape on the helmet with little um, spoilers around the back. And obviously this helmet is in, in its race livery, uh, race paint, uh, whichever one you call it, want to call it, um, with their main sponsors. So we've got Ugly & Co, um, Brawlbeard and, and Arai. So the first thing you can see on the visor is these Arai tear-offs. Uh, these are really important at races such as the TT when you're averaging 130 miles an hour and of course you're bound to catch some flies um, so riders can tear these off mid-race to keep their visor clean and obviously see where they're going. So on this Arrow helmet uh, the visor also has a shield latch system um, so what this basically does is it catches the visor and makes sure um, that it doesn't unexpectedly open while you're racing um, it's probably quite a nice thing to know when you're going around the TT circuit at 130 miles an hour plus um, and just gives you a bit of uh, security. This mechanism was taken from an Arai F1 helmet and from what I've heard it's really easy to use with gloves um, and as you can see here it won't open until you press the little latch uh, at that point it will open. This visor is a vast VMV shield and comes in a dark tint with a D-mist. I do know that if you guys are wanting to grab one of these helmets, they do come with a clear visor and a clear pin lock. So now we're going to run you through all the different uh, vents on this helmet. So we have the top vents here, the visor vents just here, uh, the chin vent and uh, the kind of exhaust area around the back. Um, so to start on the top, um, so we have these three intakes here. Um, each of the intakes have three kind of settings, so there's closed, half open and all the way open. Um, these have been improved um, of the previous model and allow 11% more air um, into them. Um, when they're fully closed, they help to stop water intrusion and personally I think they also help uh, the design and the look of the helmet kind of make it a bit more sporty looking. So we also have two vents on the front of the helmet. So we have these two on the forehead area. If I lift this up, you can see the air goes in here, kind of goes over the top of the rider's head to cool them down. And then you also have this uh, vent here on the chin. This has three settings as well. So you've got fully open, you can see all the nice dead flies in there, half open and then fully closed. Um, this helps to kind of demist de the visor and also help get clean air into the rider's face. And then if we close that, you can see around the back here, hopefully the camera can see that. Um, so this is where all the hot air from where the rider may be warm and sweaty goes out the back um, as it's replaced by cool air uh, at the front of the intakes. Uh, so now on to the inside of the helmet, hopefully the camera can see that. On the inside of the helmet, on this one, um, we don't have the padding in there anymore. Um, they are removable to be able to you know, wash them after a race. Um, as well as this, we have uh, emergency pull removers things. Um, so in worst case scenario, or, um, so you can be removed. Um, and then lastly, we have this double D uh, strap, which is the only one that is allowed uh, while racing. 
Right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and let us know down in the comments what you want to see next. Whether that's more wrapping videos, reviews, more helmets. Yeah, just let us know. Um, yeah, and obviously this is Jamie Cowell's helmet and there's no racing going on at the moment. So we have these 36 caps. Um, if you want to support us and the rider, there'll be a link down in the description. Um, if you want to go and get yourself one, uh, it'll be really appreciated. Um, and yeah, hopefully see you next time.